What's going on everyone? It's Joe DeLawn where I'm at the Project Lawn today and we're actually going to throw down the first application of the year. So let's get started. If you've been following my channel, you know that the Project Lawn is actually my sister's house. Uh, we threw down GCI Cool Blue in the fall time and it looked really great at the end of the season. They were super happy with it. This year we're going to switch things up a little bit. Car. They live on a busy street. It's a pain in the ass to film here, so I go as quickly as possible. But, like I was saying, we are switching things up this year. They are okay with herbicides in their lawn, so we're actually going to throw down various weed control this year to help them better establish their turf and get things growing better as well. Um, overall, I think it looks really great. We just ran over it real quickly with their tractor today. Um, overall, it looks really great for coming out of wintertime. We did get a little bit of snow here in Jersey throughout this year. Um, but overall, I would say it looks very good. So when I first showed up here today, I did pull a bunch of cores. I'm gonna do a soil test. I'll send it off to probably a Spectrum Analytics like I did my own. Um, I definitely wanna do that, pull those cores before I throw down any kind of fertilizer because it definitely will fluctuate the test. So that's what I did. I'm gonna do the back, pull some cores before I fertilize the back. Um, but I'm a little disappointed in today and it's just partly due to the fertilizer. So when I said I was disappointed with the fertilizer, um, we actually had a hook out of Lowe's and don't get me wrong, Lowe's and Home Depot, they sell some great fertilizer. Um, we actually got a Lesco brand today. Uh, the, the company that I wanted to use for their fertilizer, they're only open during the week, Monday through Friday right now, and I can't get over there to get it. And it's, they're only open till four o'clock, which kind of sucks as well. So I wanted to use their brand for the first app of the year, but I can't. So we went to Lowe's. We just got a regular basic Lesco brand. Let me show you the bag. So what we have here is obviously a Lesco brand. It's a 3005. It does have dimension in it, which is great for a pre-emergent for weed control. Uh, it will hopefully control some of the crabgrass. I'm wanting to get it down today uh, just because we're starting to really warm up here in Jersey. And like I said, they don't mind so much having herbicides and different ingredients like that in their lawn. So we're going to be doing that this year at their house trying it like i said trying to establish uh, good growth with their turf and eliminate the weed so when we go into the fall next year uh we can have we can thicken this lawn up really good with a good overseed so before i go and throw it down in the front i just wanted to walk out back real quick uh what's really cool about the winter time here is as you can see that lake back there um it's a really cool lake in south jersey uh so you can see the trees with the leaves and everything uh you can really see that lake really good you know eventually you won't see it as much but it's really cool in the winter time uh here in their backyard it's really cool but overall you could see that it's still coming out of dormancy obviously they do have a dog i think you can probably see that for yourselves in certain spots where they go to the bathroom uh, it's always funny too to me you know to see where the dogs go a lot to the bathroom because it's very obvious you know when you look out in a lawn like this um, but again this is going to be a big project back here this year uh, the overseed went pretty well um, obviously we didn't do a ton of weed control last year uh, but this year like I said they're open to that so we're gonna definitely hit heavy back here with some weed control uh, and get this thing looking good I mean at the end of last season it did look really great they were super happy with it so that's all that really matters like I, I say to you guys all the time when it comes to DIY projects um, as long as you're happy with it that's all that really matters at the end of the day so I'm not gonna bore you with the boring stuff here where I'm not gonna do some footage of spreading fertilizer because you guys really don't need to see that that. but I just want to explain what we're gonna do this year today we're only gonna put about half a pound of end down um, I'm not gonna do I don't want a ton of uh, top growth right now it's mostly just for the dimension that's in this bag want to get it out on the lawn and get that stuff watered in uh, once I get that soil test back though from there I plan on creating a plan for this year we're gonna try and keep it simple like I am at my house we're only doing six rounds of different kind of fertilizer throughout the year we're gonna do the same thing at their house we're gonna keep it simple I want to use organic turf trade this year I just couldn't get out there their hours right now like I said I just didn't work out for me this week so once I can get there I'm gonna use some of their stuff as well but honestly this let's go brand right here it's some really good nitrogen sources in here in this bag um, and if you do the calculation it really does weigh in your favor using just a regular big box store if you want uh, that's our plan this year keep the cost down as much as possible we know that this fertilizer or the seed prices will be going up hope maybe we'll see um, 
I did reach out to Tuckahoe Turf. Uh, Alan said it really is going to depend on their crop for this year, depending on what grass seed prices will be coming in July and September. So I'm trying to save up if I can. So when we go to do our overseed, hopefully we can keep some of our fertilizer costs down. That way, if we see an increase in grass seed, it will offset it a little bit. So like I said, we're only doing half a pound of uh, nitrogen today. So that with the 3005 right here, that equates to about two pounds per 1000 square feet. So that's all we're gonna use out of this bag. So we're gonna have plenty left over for a second application later next month. That's gonna wrap it up here at the project lawn. We are just watering everything in. We started up the sprinkler system here today and there were no leaks, thank God. It's always a good thing when there's no leaks, if you know what I'm saying. So if you want to follow the journey here of the project lawn, we're going to do a little bit different this year, as you guys could, you know, what I said earlier, we're going to try and cut some costs this year, maybe use some big box store stuff, hopefully use some organic turf trade stuff here. We're going to weigh the comparisons of their house to my house. So it's going to be interesting. So if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos from the project lawn. And like always, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And also, I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'll leave that all linked below. My TikTok is a lot of fun, a lot of spoof videos, a lot of funny things. So if you're in for a good laugh, go check out my TikTok. I'm going to try and expand that this year. Instagram this time, you know, Instagram's going down a little bit, you know. That not as much activity on Instagram. TikTok, you know, is big. Some people like it, some people don't. But my TikTok's a lot of fun, so if you enjoy a good laugh, go check it out. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.